everybody, it's Cassie. This week I'm going over pike throughs. Pike throughs are a level two move. I would do it in a level one class as homework for my more advanced students um, if I was teaching my newer level one students how to do an easy roll. For my level two students, they should be um, very capable to do a pike through with just a brief demonstration um, and then it's a, a safe enough move that I can kind of leave them to practice that as I give more attention to my level one students learning a more basic easy roll. A pike through um, does have the same three requirements that we had for the easy roll. If you missed that video, it's the one right before this. Um, and for an easy roll, you needed to know how to do seatbelt, you needed to know how to do starfish, and you needed to know how to do pigeon. For a pike through, you need to know um, seatbelt, you need to know starfish, and you need to know an easy roll. Um, because an easy roll is the same type of movement that you do in a pike through. There's just an additional step that brings you either all the way back into your seatbelt or all the way back into your starfish. Um, so it is typically a level two move. Um, I usually lump it in if I'm doing a level two class as part of another trick. Um, it requires quite a bit of core strength and upper body strength. So throughout the class, I'll have done things like boat pose, um, pull-ups, just to warm up your arms and your core, maybe some oblique exercises as we're still doing the same type of motion as you would in an easy roll. Um, for this trick, I still set the swing up at aerial yoga height. Um, so for aerial yoga height, if that's new to you, I am looking for a range in your pubic region um, and as wide as sort of the midpoint of your pubic bones. Um, that makes sure that the fabric is set up just right so that you could extend your leg and easily place your ankle in the swing for some stretches. And when you invert, there is clearance from your head off the floor. You don't necessarily need to be at cirque height here. Cirque height is like rib cage, um, bra line area. Um, if you were doing something like that, I really only break out that height in a level three aerial hammock class. Um, so getting back to the trick, pike through from starfish. First, I'm going to show it getting back into your seatbelt, and then I'm going to show it getting all the way into your starfish. So first, seatbelt wrap. From under my plumb line, I lift up to the tippy toes, make sure I pull the fabric at my sacrum so I'm not putting pressure on my lumbar spine. Spread eagle your legs, seat belt. Then to come up into your starfish, you push your legs through the center of the fabric so the fabric's caught just behind your knees. Try to hug your rib cage in here. There's a big tendency to flare it open. Try to tighten it up and give yourself a big inhale. Then exhale, reach up, big crunch, grab above your knees. Then for starfish, legs up to the scab. Open your legs out wide and use your legs opening out wide to help pull you up. Perfect. So for my pike through, first I'm gonna come into my seatbelt wrap. That's the first stage, it's a little bit easier. In easy roll, we bet the knee of the side that we're rolling to. For a pike through, you keep that leg nice and long. Both hands come onto the handle of the direction you're rolling, and as soon as the fabric gets right up to your butt, you take both of your legs and toss them through the center of your handles. So I roll forward, 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 there's the butt, lift your legs up, bring them through the center of the fabric, and to land in seatbelt, you just bend your knees, slide down, and you're there. Now to come all the way back up through starfish. I'm gonna grab both hands onto one handle, roll in that direction. This time as I bring my legs up and through, I open my legs wide to land back in my starfish. Now, for newer students, they might not have the upper body or core strength to completely lift up as they pike their legs through. That's okay, a really good first stage for this 
is to use your bottom leg to help push the fabric so that you can more easily get yourself through. So for example, I roll forward, 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 then I use my bottom leg to push the fabric out, slip my wrap leg through, and then back up into my starfish. Eventually, you want people to have a nice tight core, a nice tight pike, so that when they roll through, they can actually completely lift themselves up, not touch the swing at all, and land back into their starfish. So I roll, pull, and lift up, and through. And then for fun, I'll usually add the easy roll on directly after that, still grabbing onto the same handle, roll forward into your gazelle, and into your pigeon. Little fold for your blood pressure. And then stand on up. So that was a pike through. Super fun trick for your newer level two people um, and maybe your really advanced level one students. It definitely, I'm a little out of breath here, definitely gets your heart going as you're trying to pull yourself up. Use that core strength to get through. So if you have any questions, of course, just comment below, send a direct message, um, and if you want, share a video of how you did it. Okay, thanks.